Good evening, everyone. They are crimes that have some people saying the days of helping someone who's stranded on the side of the road are now over. Uh, over the past eight months, there have been a series of robberies and attempted robberies in and around the community of Bluntser. That's out near the intersection of FM 624 and FM 666. And just over a month ago, a member of the Bluntser Fire Department was robbed. Seth Kovar is covering this story. And Seth, this one has gotten a lot of traction on Facebook. Yeah, after that incident with the firefighter, reports started popping up on Facebook about at least four other similar crimes. But while those folks took the time to post to social media about it, some of them didn't bother going to police. You'd think a robber would shy away from a five-ton brush truck. But in the early morning hours of June 24th, a local volunteer firefighter says he almost fell victim. I don't think they were trying to target the fire truck. I think it's just who's next, who's coming down the road. Captain Alvaro Maldonado is speaking on behalf of the firefighter who doesn't want his identity released for fear of it happening again. The firefighter says a man was walking down FM 666 at 3 in the morning. Somebody walking on the side of the road. I mean, you're going to try to help him out, especially in the middle of nowhere where there's no lights. The firefighter says he slammed on the brakes and swerved, but then the man he almost hit ordered him to get out of the truck. He refused and floored it, and that's when he says he heard gunfire. You know, hitting it like that, and then an actual gunshot. I don't, and as loud as this truck is when it's on, um, yeah, if he said it's a gunshot, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what he heard. His case is one of three that remain open investigations with the Nueces County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff John Hooper says the only connection between them is where they happened, despite Facebook reports of even more cases. A lot of social media misinformation is put out there and uh, there's been an awful lot of embellishments and exaggerations and social media energy. The other two cases that got reported to the sheriff's office actually came from April and then back in November. Sheriff Hooper says that the attempted robbers or the robbers in those three cases, well, they don't exactly have the same description. Lee? All right, thank you very much, Seth. Now, Sheriff Hooper also urges anyone who thinks they've been a victim of a crime to immediately call 911 and don't even think about posting on social media first. 